Hey everyone, I'm Olivia Radcliffe and this is an Evening Crash Course. Now we learned about cross-linking in a previous crash course. And cross-linking occurs during the evening process when the bonds between molecules in a polymer break and are then reformed as stronger bonds. So why would someone be looking for cross-linking? Well, cross-linking helps improve the mechanical properties like increased temperature resistance and abrasion resistance in many polymers. Even cross-linking provides all of chemical cross-linking's advantages of having a thermoplastic turn into a thermoset without the use of harmful chemicals. Some everyday applications include gaskets and seals, automotive parts, connectors, mouth guards, medical casts, plumbing components, ice maker tubing, risers, and manifolds. A branching is used to modify the molecular processability and melt properties of polymer pellets. Now, the EVM irradiation creates side chains and can increase the molecular weight, all without creating a 3D network like during the cross-linking process. And cross-linking is generally performed on molded parts, whereas branching is performed on pellets. A much lower dose is needed for long-chain branching than for cross-linking. So why would someone be looking for branching? Well, when the side chains entangle, it increases the melt strength of the polymer, allowing for down-gauging, long-draw thermoforming, creation of lower-density foams, and other applications. Essentially, it's when you're looking to improve the properties of a polymer before it's molded. Some everyday applications include foam, film, extrusion coating, extrusion blow molding, thermoform trays and containers, and automotive interiors. Chain scissioning is another method of polymer modification. And during the chain scissioning process, bonds between molecules are broken and not reformed in controlled degradation. For example, PTFE can be processed to create a micro powder that can be brought down to a specific particle size. And specific particle sizes are increasingly useful in products such as inks, coatings, and lubricants. Some everyday applications include injection molding, films, fibers, and textiles, packaging, and natural rubbers. If you want to look at it another way, cross-linking can be seen as taking different pieces of fabric and stitching them together to make a piece of clothing. A branching is taking that fabric and holding it together using Velcro instead of stitching. And chain scissioning is taking the finished piece of clothing and taking it apart to turn it into something else useful. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.